Hi, everyone. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee, weather in five, five days in five minutes. And uh, if you haven't downloaded the free weather apps yet, I think this might be a good time to do it. Uh, you can download the Meteorologist Joe Chaffee app, which before you ask is called Meteorologist Joe Chaffee. And you can download that on Google Play or on the App Store. Or you can also and or you can also download Angry Ben's weather app, the Angry Weatherman, which is called the Angry Weatherman, and you can down that download that on Google Play. And of course, everybody's starting to sort of swarm around the idea that we're going to get uh, some snow here on Saturday with the next weather system, but we've got to get to Saturday first, and we can start off with today. We are dealing with a lot of clouds today. There's that frontal boundary from yesterday that stalled out to our south, and it's uh, kept us in clouds at a onshore wind, and you're just kind of locked in here. So let's, uh, let's take a look at that. And at least from the standpoint of how the temperatures are performing today, obviously we are 20 degrees or more colder than yesterday, where we're mostly in the 40s, a few 50 degree readings showing up in parts of Maryland and down into Virginia, a little bit closer to the frontal boundary. And up to the north, it's a little bit colder, where we've got temperatures this afternoon in the upper 30s to lower 40s. Most of the winds are light. We don't have those howling winds like we had yesterday. And uh, when we uh, take a look at what's on the satellite loop this afternoon, uh, we have uh, all these clouds that are streaming northward, and there's some actually some precipitation action going on in the Carolinas right now that is streaming on up to the northeast. But those are going to pass by mainly to the south of northeast Virginia to southern New England, so we don't have any real worries about precipitation. But that, that flow from the west-southwest continues. You can also see the energy that's coming into the west coast. That's that deep trough out in the west that is going to be getting out of the way as we uh, move through uh, this week. And here's the uh, radar as of uh, just about 2 p.m. And there's some showers off the Delaware coast. We've got some heavier showers and even a couple of thunderstorms that are developing in parts of uh, North and South Carolina and also some Apache areas of precip that extend further south into the Gulf states uh, down through Mississippi, uh, and back through Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi, and back through Louisiana and off the South Texas coast. And there's some action coming into the West with all that uh, Western energy. So it's this stalled front to the South. We didn't, didn't get a really strong push of dry air. High pressure is up in Southeastern Canada and over Maine, New Brunswick, and Nova Scotia. So we've got that light onshore flow to the north of it, and there's still very warm tropical air with temperatures in the 70s uh, running up through the uh, Carolinas and down through Georgia, which of course is where uh, all the action is going to be. Now, let's uh, look ahead to what we can expect. We've got a couple of weak systems that we're dealing with uh, first off, and uh, these maps, by the way, are courtesy of PivotalWeather.com. And we uh, thank them very much for that. So that frontal boundary just kind of sits there. The high uh, sits <clears throat> also just sits there up in uh, southeastern Canada, starts to slide out as we move into Wednesday. And then we've got another low that's going to be running toward the Great Lakes, uh, heading over into later Wednesday and Wednesday night. That's just a simple cold front that's going to come on through. And you'll notice that there's a big high that is coming down uh, near uh, North Dakota here, a 1049 millibar high. So that is cold air that we are uh, seeing. And that comes in here for Thursday and beyond. Uh, strengthening winds on Thursday with an intensifying low east of Nova Scotia. And then you're going to start to see some of that Western energy uh, beginning to come out uh, as we uh, head into uh, Thursday night and Friday. Uh, snow breaking out through Iowa, freezing rain and sleet down and through uh, Missouri with rain further south, low pressure in Wyoming. And there's that big high, and that's very cold air that is sitting uh, up just north of Lake Huron. And now, as that low progresses eastward, that high is going to try to do its best to hold on. Sorry, the maps are jumping around just a little bit. But the uh, um, high is going to try to hold on. I think we're going to be dry here on Friday. And in terms of the timing of this, it looks like snow arrives here 
uh, sometime uh, early Saturday morning. This is uh, what the uh, map looks like for 7 a.m. on Saturday. The low near Chicago, that strong high still there. That's really going to be key here. I think that what this is shaping up to be is a front-end uh, snow event that uh, is going to uh, occur here on Saturday. Uh, one of the uh, things we've noticed on the GFS model today and on a few of the others is the cold air holding on longer. Uh, system, uh, I sort of thought it might have been better if every the system moved out faster, but instead what seems to be happening is that the cold air is going to want to hold on for a bit longer and, and slow things down. So by Saturday afternoon, uh, during Saturday morning and Saturday afternoon, you can see this large area of snow from Delaware and Maryland northeastward into southern New England. This is going to be about a quick six to eight hour round of snow that may ultimately go to rain before it ends. But this is for Saturday, uh, uh, late Saturday evening. It's pretty much done. So we will put down whatever we put down ahead of that. And then behind it uh, comes more cold air as we go through the weekend and into next week. Now, obviously, there are going to be a lot of subtleties here that we're going to have to look at going forward. And it's way too early for us to figure uh, that out now. But uh, all the weather models are showing the similar idea of this low coming out, uh, attempting to redevelop just to our south, the east of New Jersey, south of Long Island. So it'll be a question of how long uh, the cold air holds on. Uh, there will be some solid precip ahead of it on the order of maybe three quarters of an inch to an inch and a quarter of liquid. So that will be substantial. And I also think for areas just inland, uh, going uh, up into the Hudson Valley, uh, along and north of Route 84, for example, and further points further north, this could wind up being a uh, substantial snowfall. And we'll have to see if that cold air winds up being a bit more important. So uh, in the meantime, while we try to pull, put this puzzle together, we're just going to continue in this sort of dreary uh, weather that we have for today. Uh, we will have our regular YouTube live stream tonight at 7 o'clock on my YouTube channel, the Joe Chaffee uh, YouTube channel, the Joe and Joe Weather Show with Joe Rayo. Uh, he will be uh, here as he has been uh, every day for the last few weeks and will continue to be here every day uh, in the weeks going forward. And once again, just a reminder, if you haven't downloaded the free, that means you don't have to pay for it, weather apps on Google Play or on the App Store, the meteorologist Joe Chaffee weather app, which is what it's called, or and Angry Ben's weather app, the Angry Weatherman, which is only available for Android devices right now, still not available for iPhones. Have a great day. We'll see you later.